Hey there Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you very much for joining me here today. I hope you all are doing well. All right, so let's go into it. I have some cards pre-shuffled here for you and I will shuffle in some more later. So let's see what's coming out for overall cards. We have the Chariot. How is your person feeling about you? The Seven of Pentacles. So seven and seven. I'm recording this on July 7th actually, interesting. And here's the star, interesting, one seven. And the Nine of Coins with the Three of Swords and the Moon. All right, so this is interesting because it looked like something was really building up here uh, to something quite beautiful, but I'm just feeling like there is something blocking this situation. There is something that this person feels is unknown about the situation. I feel like they see that there's so much potential with you. Um, they feel like you are just like a star, a real catch. Um, I feel like some of you could be maybe well known for what you do. Um, I feel they're very, very impressed with you. They see a future with you. Um, I do feel like anytime they see you, they come in contact with you, I feel like they very much like are motivated to come towards you. But there is something that holds them back. Maybe they're afraid they're going be rejected for, um, by you if this is more of a crush situation or like circumstances just aren't really aligning right now. Um, maybe some of you rejected them. Um, so actually I want to clarify this uh, Three of Swords and Moon. What's going on here? We have the Six of Wands. This person really wants to win you over. I feel like um, they just always are wanting to show like their best face to you. I feel like they aren't really comfortable with being very vulnerable with you yet. Um, yeah, I feel like they're really wanting to come in maybe just all in a masculine energy and just like um, show you how strong they are. And I feel like they are kind of wanting to hide um, some of their sensitivity. Let's see what else came out for your Oracle cards here. Okay, so we have Libra, the idealist. So you could be with a Libra here, or you could be a Libra. And here is Pluto, transformation. This is like Scorpio. Here's action. This feels like Aries, movement, perseverance, discipline, and motivation. I'm getting like you really motivate this person to step up in life. So maybe they feel like they're not really at your level yet. They feel like they're not the best match for you is what I'm getting here. Um, they feel like they have a long way to go. So I, I really feel like this is someone who really wants to win you over. Um, I feel like they, they feel kind of lost without you. I really feel like this is a really big crush type situation. Um, I, and I'm feeling like you guys aren't too hung up on this person, actually. But first, I, to confirm that, I do want to get a few cards on how are you feeling about this person? Actually, let me get this deck. How are you feeling about this person? Number three, how are the majority of you feeling about this person? All right, we have Judgment. It's Pluto again. We have the Six of Wands. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel a lot of you are um, good with or without this person. Like I feel like you see a lot of, you, you are interested in this person. Um, however, I feel like you guys are really like knowing your worth and your value. Here's the High Priestess as well. So I feel that you are um, maybe holding this person to some really high standards. I feel like you're really looking out for yourself, um, really taking good care of yourself. Um, and I feel like you're kind of like picking and you're in a spot to be picking and choosing right now. Um, and yeah, it's, it's like, this could even be multiple people wanting to pursue you as well, um, where you guys are really, really looking like a catch. Okay. What else do we have here? All right. So we have Jupiter. It's like Sagittarius. So destiny, goodwill, grateful, fortune, expansive, optimistic, um, I feel like you guys are in a very good place in your life right now, or you're coming into a new phase that is going to be a lot more, that's going to be like opening more doors to you. Um, and then here is this scuba diver as well. This is Pisces here going within observation, self-examination, exploring the unconscious mind, desire to know. Um, I feel like you've really caught this person's interest a lot. We also have Pluto here, which talks about going to great depths as well. And I feel like this person... Um, I feel like it's not really that easy to catch their interest 
and you really have like you are you are someone they actually want to get to know on a very deep level um because i feel like they get kind of bored with most people in situations pretty fast and you're someone who keeps them very excited i feel it could be you have kind of like a uh jupiterian part of your personality um that they really like very open to like exploration and you have like big ideas um this is something they really like about you. So some of you, I feel like this could even be a new person coming in for you if you don't have someone in mind. Um, so this could be kind of like a singles reading for some of you, perhaps. Um, also with Jupiter, this um, in astrology, this can represent like a husband or a spouse. So I feel like this person wants to take things to that level with you or get very serious with you, or you're coming into that phase of your life where you're going to be meeting like a destined partner, someone that you were meant to meet in this life. And I feel like this person is looking for that one too. So I do feel like this is a like good, like worlds colliding, like good match type thing here. Um, it is interesting. This three of swords and moon though. So I, there's still something that is fuzzy or unknown about the situation. Okay. So what else do we have? What do we want to do first? Um, oh, nice connection. This is a nice card from this deck. So yeah, I do feel a nice connection here for sure and beautiful door to personal healing and happiness. So I do feel that um, there still is some healing work to be done, maybe uh, some on your side and some on their side. And I feel like you guys um, are could be helping each other to move to the next level in life to finish up that last bit of healing and feeling more stable and grounded in yourself, when it, especially when it comes to love. Um, I see you guys have recently gone through a huge renewal of spirit as well, where you're like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm going to work things out. I'm going to be a success in life. I'm good. And this is another beautiful card here. The Lady of the Lake, absolute truth, courage, self-respect, and responsibility. And I do feel like this represents uh, most of you watching here as well with someone who has um, really developed some great respect for themselves and it has some good boundaries and good standards. So I feel like you're attracting the right people for you and you're very easy, able to easily reject those who are just not going to be a good fit for you. Um, yeah, I see you as kind of like a heartbreaker here, not in a mean way, but just that a lot of people want to be with you, I feel. And you're you're like, you know, I, I really want to hold out for someone just right for me, just perfect for me. Okay, anything else? Yeah, I, I feel like you guys definitely have like your options. You guys have many different picks, it feels like. So <laughs> if that doesn't sound like you. Maybe this is not your reading today, but yeah, I, I do feel like number three in a lot of readings in the past um, several months have felt like someone who is, it's felt more like kind of like a singles reading focused more on the viewer than the other person. Okay, so I feel you guys are manifesting. If you don't have this person yet, you're manifesting someone who wants to be with you at your level. Um, or this is someone you already know that you're considering here and you guys definitely have a beautiful connection that is going to be deepening here that is really like blessed. I feel like very blessed by the stars, by the gods um, here with Jupiter and the star coming out because Jupiter is the greater benefic in astrology, the planet of the greatest blessings. So it's like the Santa Claus of the Zodiac. All right. So, and with this like Pisces scuba diver card here, I'm just getting like a very deep love, especially with Pluto between you two. Libra and Pluto together. That to me, that indicates like a deep lifetime, very intimate relationship. So I feel like this person's pretty excited because um, this is a very new phase of their life for them. Like they just have really not that bit, really not been that interested in intimate relationships, like emotionally intimate relationships. So you guys really have something special in you because you've really made this person like kind of just like change like how they interact with um, in a love relationship. All right. So let's get some more cards here. So what is on their mind the most often about you? Number three. All right. We have the two of pentacles. I feel if there was no obstacles here, if you said yes to this person, if everything was green light, I feel like they would just be like, yes, let's do this. Like they're just wanting to charge forward towards you like now. <laughs> okay. The two of pentacles, we have the king of wands. So you really do light up this person's fire. Um, ew, and the queen of wands. All right. So we have a couple here. So let's see here. I feel like this person does worry a lot about the other, like other people pursuing you. Because they really feel like maybe you have a lot of different options with this like two of pentacles here. So they're trying to figure out like, okay, how do I catch 
Number three is attention the most. How do I win? How do I, because I feel like they do see this as kind of like a game that they want to win with you, but I, you know, they're pl like playing for keeps. Like I want to have number three because they do see you as like, um, not just someone super attractive, but also someone maybe with like some high morals and principles as well. And that is, they feel like that is very rare at this point in time, very rare in their life. They don't meet many people like this. So they know that they have to really stay on their feet and stay with it and keep challenging themselves if they are going to win you over. I feel like they, they see like if you guys are going to be together for life, they're going to have to like really keep winning you over. They're going to have to make sure that they keep the fire started. Oh yeah, here's the page of wands as well. So they could even be thinking about having Having a child with you or um, creating something really cool together okay let's see here gossip only hurts more wow yeah so definitely I feel like there could be um, like a lot of people like talking to them about you um, or they could be asking other people about you so I feel like they kind of see and know that you are popular or you at least give them that appearance <laughs> Okay. Um, here's lighting the way more fire following the example leading with light so you are like their number one like you stand out you have this light that shines above anyone else so I feel like if they if they are like trying to choose between different options in life or which pathway to go I feel it is very much like you outshine everything else that's going on in their life I do feel like um, a lot of you watching are kind of like celebrity status or um, or at least you guys have that energy. If you guys don't have some kind of following or something, I feel like you very much have that energy. And if you did start some kind of project, I feel like you could get a lot of attention very easily because you're in a very nice energy. And I feel like a lot of people would admire you and look up to you. Okay, so let's see. What feelings are they most aware of towards you? Here's the Ace of Cups. So, wow, this is interesting. So I feel like they know that they love you or they're falling in love with you. They know they have feelings for you. They know they, know they have some kind of feelings and they care about you. Because this is not the first water in the reading with this uh, scuba diver ocean card. Whoa, the Hierophant. This is someone who also knows that they respect you. I was just seeing, hearing something about they respect your religion too. Okay, here is the tower. And actually, this is really surprising for them. Like, I feel like they're not typically this person who's like lining up ready to like get married or have like a serious commitment, a serious relationship. It's like shocking to them. And here's the nine of swords. It's actually scary for them. Um, get one more card for the tower and the nine of swords. They're like, who am I? You know, they're like, I feel like you've really turned their world upside down. Okay, here's the seven of swords. Gosh. I feel like if they they want to like set something right with you because there, this might have been something that happened between you two where there was something where maybe you had a reason to walk away from them or break up with them. I feel like they want to like make up for that somehow because the Ace of Cups and the Hierophant is like wanting to make something right, wanting to show you that they care, wanting to have like some morals about the situation. Okay, here's frustration. I feel like they're very frustrated with themselves. Maybe they feel like they messed something up with you. Or maybe they just feel like um, if it isn't between you two, maybe they feel like they've kind of messed their life up in general. Like they should be in a better place by now. So I'm getting like a lot of frustration with themselves. This could also be kind of a frustration. Like if you guys, um, if they feel like they can't have you for some reason, I feel like they are frustrated by that very much. Um, I feel like maybe they're, they're trying to take like the higher road with you. So let's see. What... What are their current do they what are their current plans? Do they have any current plans with you? Number three. Actually, I was gonna get one more card for their feelings as well. Their primary feelings in the situation. What are they aware of the most? All right, we have parting ways, separation, divide, and heartbreak. So here's this heartbreak again. If but it feels like this person is still with you. So I just feel like they want to work something out. If you guys did go your separate ways, um, so I, I feel like this person does want a redo at this, or they just at least want things to be like good and at peace between you two. That like everything gets released. Um, so that way, 
there's uh, no one's like holding grudges or anything. I feel like they want they they want there to be peace between you two. Okay, so any plans? Here's the Page of Pentacles. Here's the Five of Wands. So here's this competition where I'm feeling like they just want to like fight for you, to, like win you over. And here's the Nine of Wands. 10 of pentacles so i see with this page of pentacles here this is like they want to make some kind of offer towards you so i feel they are planning on doing what it takes they're like i'm going to give this one more try to maybe set something straight with number three here okay and then here we have the loving woman because i feel like this is how they're seeing you they're seeing you in this light of someone who's just glowing and beautiful and really sweet and I feel like they've really seen your value for sure here with like this Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles and the star here. And I feel like they really feel like they're missing out here. Same with this like Libra and Pluto. This is a very um, like mysterious, amazing energy. Um, those two, two together. So I feel like you have like that factor about you that just they can't find it in anyone else. So I feel like you're very alluring to them. Okay, so they know that they have to like fight to win you over or to win you back, possibly. Okay, and then we have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this could be part of their thing too. They could maybe have some uh, family issues going on that they're like, hey, I need to work through that first or their, their own like just issues from their childhood or just not getting their life on track just yet. Many people are kind of in that position. And so I feel like they're, maybe they have finally gotten their life more on track. They feel like they've made some progress. I feel like maybe they've taken some advice that you've given them. And I feel they want to show you like, hey, I learned, I'm learning and I'm doing Doing better and I'm fighting my way fighting my way to the top all right so is there anything blocking them exactly in this situation with you all right we have the three of cups so I do feel a lot of other people around here so I feel like this person they were not committing to you at first it feels like they're changing their mind about that um, with this Hierophant showing up here and just with how much this person seems to desire you and really want to keep something going with you. So yeah, I do see this as like someone like that was not willing to commit or was not able to commit. And I feel like you guys are just kind of like, just kind of being like whatever about it. You're trying not to get too involved. All right, here is Mercury as well. So I also am feeling something about gossip here as well. I feel like maybe there was something like some kind of misunderstanding or miscommunication here. Um, they they did not quite understand and see who you were. They didn't see all the way to the depths. They didn't see below the surface at first. And I, now I feel like they're like kind of backtracking and they're like, I did or saw something completely incorrectly. So yeah, they're having to, re maybe something even during like the last Mercury retrograde um, and they're realizing they were wrong about something about like who you really are, what you really want maybe. Okay, so what do they most want you to know? Number three. Yeah, this person feels like really like protective over you. Um, they could also be like correct. Maybe if other people had been talking about you to them, I feel like they were wanting to like correct them as well. Like they're defending you. Here's the high priestess. Yeah, I feel like this is kind of like the lady of the lake again. Like they have you on a pedestal. They're like, I'm defending your name. I'm defending your honor. And I feel like they're also saying, I'm really proud of you for like having good standards and morals as well. And they, I feel like they also want to let you know that they're seeking something higher. They're trying to be a better version of themselves. And here's the chariot. Yeah, I feel like you've inspired them to be determined to do a lot better in their life. Okay, and here's Phoenix rising. Interesting with that um, judgment card showing up as well and Pluto. So yeah, they're like, I'm being reborn. I'm a new person now. You need, they're like, you need to check me out. <laughs> okay. Here's this wild card. This looks a lot like this action card. So these two red dresses, maybe um, they really like when you wear red or red's like their favorite color or something. Okay. So what should you do? Number three, is there anything you should do in this situation? All right, here's the five of cups.
And here's the Five of Swords. I'm getting, like, if you guys are still upset about something with the situation, it looks like you guys were really, like, playing it cool or something, and you guys are, like, totally good. But I think it feels like underneath it all, you might still have some hard emotions about the situation, difficult emotions. So I feel like maybe it's time to, like, maybe let yourself grieve or cry about something. And I'm also feeling, um, and this could also be, like, a past situation to kind of still heal and work through, because I was feeling like there was still a little bit of healing um, time you needed here. This could also mean, like, maybe if something came between you two, you really need to like have a good discussion with this person about um, just how you were feeling. Cause they might not have, I feel like they might not have a really good clue about how you're really feeling since I feel like you're really good at playing it cool and just like having this really good image, like really mature image. Okay, and here's affirmation for acceptance. Interesting. So yeah, I feel like there is something um, that was, was very difficult in your past. And I feel like something that could be good for you is just to accept where you are right now and then move forward. Because um, if you accept something, it doesn't mean like you have to agree with it or be okay with it. Just like you're just like, okay, I'm just going to move forward now and I'm not going to continue giving energy to it. It is what it is. I can't change it kind of thing. So ac acceptance can be a very powerful thing to do. Very simple, very, but very powerful for any situation. That's been, especially with something that's been bothering you for a long time. Okay. So we also have the Carowite card. Interesting because it looks like Chariot, which the Chariot was the first card out. Um, spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. Yeah, this, I feel like this card makes a lot of sense here for you guys because I was feeling like a lot of like um, just high standards, you guys having high morals and standards and really guarding yourself well, just so you don't like fall into some kind of trap again. So um, you could also be continuing to pray for spiritual protection. And I, I do feel since you have been like choosing your best path in life that that is bringing more and more um, spiritual protection in for you as well, even if you didn't ask for it but just by you choosing and making choices to do like the right thing the honorable thing i feel like you're getting protection okay and then we have opal let yourself sparkle and shine you are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world this is so interesting because i was mentioning like celebrity energy here so yeah if there's something that you guys want to share with the world then do it but make sure you give yourself some time to feel okay and stable and grounded and like you're healed um of course you don't have to like wait forever but just make sure you give yourself some time and when you feel safe when you know how to keep yourself grounded in your spiritual protection then maybe it's time to step out there into the light if you have something that you really do want to share with the world or something you want to perform whatever it is all right so let's get some message cards before we go into the extended all right, so let's get a shadow message and a light message from them. Okay, two shadow messages. It says, sometimes I become silent because I cannot handle the conflict. We do have Libra here, so it's generally a conflict avoidant energy. And here's I need you all to myself. Yeah, I'm getting like this person. They are they're kind of jealous. Like they, they really do want it to be just you and them. And I feel like maybe that's something they messed up with. Okay, so let's get a couple of light messages as well. I trust that you'll be gentle with my heart. Yeah, for sure. We had that loving woman card coming through. So they do see and understand that, like the really good parts of you. So it looks like they do trust you. Okay, and I'm ready to face the truth with courage now. What else did they say to you? Please forgive me. I can't let you go. And we have, I'm taking action. Wow. Action, action. I was just hearing like action, like in a movie, like when you're shooting a movie. Okay. All right, you're like my long lost best friend. So this person feels that really special connection with you beyond just a physical connection. They are looking for a best friend in life. I feel like they really have not found that with someone yet. I can't face you right now. The intensity between us scares me. And there's a strange and deep connection between us. Interesting. So yeah, the connection card right here. All right, that's an interesting reading, you guys. I hope this helped you in some way. 